Colossians 1.14 says this, By means of whom we have our release, by ransom, the, the forgiveness of sins. What does King James say? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Why are they removing the blood? Because the, the watchtower wants to be your redemption. The watchtower wants to be your way of salvation. All religions that are false do the same thing. They attack the character, the person of Jesus Christ. That's what they're here to do. They're here to remove Jesus as your salvation, and they're here to be your salvation. The Jehovah's Witnesses actually think that only through them you can, be, you can get to paradise earth. The question is, if they, ex if they came to existence in 1896, what about all the believers prior to them? What about them? How did they get saved? If the New World Translation and the Watchtower, New World Translation came out in, eight, in 1961 and Watchtower came out in, in 1896, what happened to those before them? Is, did everybody die and go to hell? Or oh, I'm sorry, because you know the, the New World Translation, the, they don't believe in hell. The, 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 the Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in hell. Charles Taze Russell did not believe two things. He did not believe Jesus was God. No, he, three things in particular. Of course, there were many other things. But three things he did not believe. He did not believe that Jesus Christ was God in the flesh. He did not believe that God predestined things. He didn't believe in predestination. And he did not believe that there was an, a place of eternal punishment. The Jehovah's Witnesses believe something that they call annihilation. So they call Jesus a liar when Jesus said, don't fear them who can only destroy the body, but fear them, but fear him who after he's destroyed the body has power to cast the soul and body into hell. They, they call him a liar. When Jesus says, where their worm dies not, so they deny the whole word of Jesus Christ. They deny that he's God. They deny that, he, that there is everlasting punishment. And they're denying the scriptures that would save them from that. And the last slide that we'll have is John 1.1. 1, 1. New World Translation, this is a blatant attack on Jesus Christ. We already discussed it. We're going to discuss it again. The New World Translation says this. In the beginning, the Word was, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. They add that little A there, and they lowercase the G. The Word was a God, calling the Word a lower God. Okay? But it's saying that he was in the beginning with God. How then can God be in the beginning, and a lower God be in the beginning with him, if the lower God was supposedly not created by God's own admission in Isaiah 43. King James says it very clearly, though. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It's saying that Jesus Christ is God, that there's God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. One God who manifests in three ways. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. One Spirit. Acts 9, verse 6. Nevertheless, New World Translation says, Nevertheless, rise and enter into the city, and what you must do will be told you. They deleted what Jesus said. In King James Version, it says, And, and he, this is talking about Paul, And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what will you have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told you what you must do. So they deleted the fact where, where Saul, a strict Jew, called Jesus Lord. They deleted that. They didn't want that scene. Why? Let's look at the very first, the very next verse. 1 John 5, 7. New World Translation says, For there are three witness bearers, and it ends the verse. What does it, full, what is it, what does it fully say? King James Version. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. The focus of this is the freedom from deception. The watchtower we have already shown clearly is out to deceive the people into trusting in themselves. The watchtower is on a mission to remove the faith of the people from Jesus Christ into their organization established in Brooklyn, New York. That is the plan of the enemy. They have had numerous false prophecies that did not come to pass. They've ignored them and the people that are a part of their ranks right now are in bondage. 
Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And he came to bring you salvation. You cannot be saved unless you believe he is who he says he is. You must put faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible clearly says without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must first believe that he is. You can't deny him and be saved. Jesus said if you deny me on earth I will deny you before my father in heaven. And the Bible says we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. If Jesus is the judge, what are we going to say to him when we call him a liar upon the earth? He's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, into everlasting punishment. There's no annihilation. You will not be dropped into the lake of fire and cease to exist. That is not punishment. Punishment is everlasting burning. The Bible says the smoke of their torment will rise up forever and ever. The Bible says all liars, the watchtower is a liar. All liars will have their part in the lake which burns with fire where the beast and the false prophet are. So if you're watching this video, if you're out there in the congregation, God is calling you to come to him, but you can only come to him by one means. And John, John 14, 12 sums it up. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto the Father but by me.